What's up guys, it's K Vlogs here with another video and today you're probably wondering why I'm sitting in this chair. But today I'm doing a story time on how someone tried to press charges on me. So basically today at school let me put this down real quick. Alright. Today at school, um this girl we're gonna say her name is uh Vanessa all right so this girl Vanessa um basically today I was like a uh, second period yeah second period I got called up to the office like I just walked into the door and then this other girl that worked like She's in this little special thing, ASB, and uh, so she just, like, stays in the office most of the day. And so she came, like, right when I walked in, she walked in, too, with the notes. And um, she gave it to my teacher, and my teacher looked at me, she's like, Kenzie, to the office, blah, 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 go to the office. I'm like, okay. So then, um, so I will go up to the office. And I see this one other girl, this one other girl. Okay, so let me back up a little bit. So when she called me, she also had a slip for another girl too, Vanessa. So she had a slip for me and Vanessa. So then um, we both walked up to the office and I'm looking like, okay, that's all that we're going at the same time. Uh, FedEx. Felix is dropping by our house. But anyway, so I'm like, oh, that's all that we're going at the same time. So, um, I mean, I didn't think that it was because of Vanessa. Because, like, me and her are, like, pretty cool most of the time. Like, we get mad at each other sometimes, but we're kind of on and off. So, like... This past month, I'll say, we've been, like, we've been pretty cool. And, um, then out of nowhere, all right, so FedEx just left the uh, package in front of our door or whatever, but they didn't ring the doorbell, so I'm looking like what. But anyway. So me and Vanessa are pretty cool, you know, and uh, we're kind of on and off, but these last couple of months, um, we've been pretty cool, you know, and um, so then she went in, in the, the vice principal called her and I'm like, all right, so then I started getting, I was like, like I hate, every time I go to the office, I shiver, like. I hate being in the office. It's just so quiet in there and you get uncomfortable and stuff. You're just like sitting. Like they have a couple chairs and there's like a, a front desk area. So I'm just sitting in the chair waiting. And I was in the office for like a whole period, guys. And um, so then pretty much. um, So the vice principal called her in and then called Vanessa in. And then once she, I was just waiting, you know, and um, so then she comes out, and I noticed that today she wasn't like looking at me or anything, like she'll just like be like straight face and she wouldn't look towards me or anything. So then when she walked out, she like when we were walking to the office, she didn't look at me or anything. So then once she walked out and I was going in. She, like, just looked straight past me. She didn't look at me. Like, she was just, like... So, um, pretty much, once I got called in, uh, they told, uh, the vice principal said, do you know why you're here? Like, they, the little thing, they ask why you, if you know why you're here or whatever. I'm um, like, no, she has no idea. I'm like... No, and then he's on. So yesterday, um, Isabel said that you said, 
give me that weave and pulled her hair and um like what is he even talking about like i didn't even know what was going on guys so then i'm like i did not pull her hair and i flipped her hat off yesterday i flipped her hat off and then so so then i was like thinking did she did i pull her hair when i flipped her hat off so did you hear that voice crack but i'm like did i flip did i pull her hair when i flipped her hat off or um is she just plain lying because like i said we're pretty on and off and she gets mad like so easily guys she is so mad vanessa and um so then when uh, she, they said Vanessa said you pulled her hair, and I'm like, what? Like, what are you talking about? You know, I didn't really know what was going on. So then I was in there like they called me in like three times. So I was like, okay, you know. So then he's like, you sure? You're not lying. I could call people up in the class, and I'm like, call people in the class. Like I really don't care because I did not pull her hair. So then um. So then he's like, okay, go take a, go sit back in the, uh, like, those chair area. He's like, so go sit back there. And, um, so when I was waiting there, he called, uh, this boy, let's say John, I guess. He called this boy John up to the office, and, um, so then when he called John, John was saying, hell, like, I didn't pull her hair, you know. Cause I did it, and so, so he's all okay. You could wait right there, John. So then he was just sitting there, and he's all, he's all Kenzie. I'm like, what? And he, he said, I thought that was my mom. He said, um, they were talking about how you pull someone to, like it's super quiet in there, so we weren't like trying to talk. So he's just like, I'm like. So we were like just doing little motions to each other back and forth and whatever. So then, um, so then, so then Vanessa went back in and I was like, I was like, okay, whatever. So then, so I like, there's like a soundproof, like they have this big, thick door so you can't hear anything they're saying and like it's like a window and then this big proof uh soundproof door so you can't hear anything but you could just see them so then um she comes out and i guess i guess the vice principal told vanessa to get a witness so then um she comes back with this one girl and that one girl was her friend i'm gonna call her becky that one girl was her friend, and, um, so, uh, Becky got called in, and then, so, again, you can't hear anything they're saying, because it's, like, a big soundproof door, and, um, so then, it's, like, a five minutes pass or whatever, and then Becky comes out, and they call me back in, so then, the uh, Becky said you did it, well, but Becky's, like, one of her friends, so, like it's pretty obvious they're just gonna back each other up like if you had a friend like and they called you as a witness they're automatically gonna like they're they're, they're automatically probably gonna be on your side like i didn't get to pick my witness they just sent anyone in the room in and um but then they let her choose her own witness so Becky got to come up, and then, um, <sighs> Becky got to come up, and so when she walked out, she wasn't making eye contact with me either. Like, they, it's like almost if they were scared to make eye contact with me, they were just like, they just like kept a straight face, and, um, so then, when they called me back in, they was talking about how Becky said I did it, blah, 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 blah. And uh, I'm like, 
So then, so then, um, he just calls Vanessa back in. And I'm like, okay, whatever. So we're in, now we're in the room together. And he's also, obviously, one of you are lying to me. I'm like, uh-huh. And then he's all, he's all, he was talking about, he was like giving strong hints how he thinks it was me. Like you could tell he thinks it was me. He was all, oh, so obviously someone was lying to you. Someone's lying to me. And he would just be staring me down the whole time. I'm like, okay. Like, and he was all, uh, it kind of, flipping her eyes off and all that kind of indicates that you pulled her hair out. I'm like, but I didn't. So then he's all, well, well, I'm not, I'm not there, so I can't say who lied, and who's lying, and who didn't. But once, like, some stuff could be solved. But once you straight lied to my face, I have to put the hammer down. And so then he's all, okay. So then the bell rang, because it was time to go to next period. So I was, it was like next period, and then um, Vanessa walks out, and she gets to go back to class and whatever. And he's like. Wait, I think I skipped some. Oh, so yeah. While we were... I skipped some, guys. Let me backtrack a little. So while we, me and Vanessa were in the office together, he was, she was talking about... I said I said to her, did I, pull, did, did I pull your hair when I flipped your hat off by accident, maybe? And so I'm like... So I was telling her, did I pull your hair when I flipped your hat off? Because, you know, at this point, I'm... I'm like, I don't even know what's happening because I didn't pull her hair. I just flipped her hat off. So then once I said that, she's like, no, you pulled my hair after. I'm like, now you're just straight up lying. So as I said before, we're like on and off. So, um, so, uh, I guess she might have been mad over something else. I'm not sure. But then, um, <clears throat> so then, I was like, okay, then I really didn't pull your hair then. Like, if it wasn't when I flipped your hat off, I I don't know. So then, um, basically, she got to go back to class. And then when I walk out, I see John writing the incident report. Like, we have, there's, like, in the front, when you first walk in, there's, like, on the side of the door, there's, like, a big, tall bin thing. And then, um cabinets with okay so there's a big set of drawers and um on top of them are these little incident reports that you have to fill out when something happens and so John was filling one out and he gave it to he gave it to the front office lady blah 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 he leaves and then he said he said um Okay, Phil, now you go fill out an incident report, tell your side of my eye, whatever. So then I'm done filling out the incident report. And um, I give it to the lady in the front desk. And I go back in there because ha I had the, the slip that the girl came in with in the beginning that the girl came in with. So I, so I gave him the slip because he has to sign it because it was already been a period. So, and I was missing some of the next period. So I was like, okay, so he had to sign it. And then before I left, he was like, wait, um, so, uh, what was I going to say? He's all, oh, do, do we need to get a distance contract? Like, so obviously now it's just like, he's totally taking her side. Like, there's no doubt that he thinks I did. So then, um, he was like, um. The vice principal said, "Did you? Do we need to get a a distance contract? Um, in his or, or do you do you think you can handle it to yourself? Because if if you don't even talk to her, no one can say yes you did it. Well, I mean you kind of can, but whatever. So um, I'm like, no, I could handle it. And he was all, he was all okay. Um." What do you call it? Don't talk to her. Act like she doesn't exist or anything. And I'm like, yeah. And he's all, because if she comes up here one more time saying something about you, 
then you get the distance contract or behavior contract. Or I don't remember which. It was the distance contract. He said, if she complains about you one more time, you're going to have to get the distance contract. And I'm like, I mean, I guess. So then I go back to class, and then I just hear people talking. And I'm like, all right. So, like, I sw sit, like, my table, my table is, like, by, uh, closer to the door. So then, um, I just hear people on the other side of the room. Like, some people, some of my friends were like, Kenzie, what, what happened? And I'm like, y you know, I'm going to tell you later because some of her friends are in that class. And basically, I just hear this girl, like, talk, like, some people on the other side are talking about this. This, some people on the other side are talking about what happened, what happened. And I just hear her, like, trying to, like, say it low, but I could still hear her. She was like, um, oh, he, he pulled her hair. But she, I'm like, you're not even in the period that this thing happened. So, how would you know? So then, anyways, so the period passes by. No one's talking about it. It's just when I first walked in. No one's talking about it, whatever. And then, um, basically, when when I was at, I was walking to PE. So this is fourth period now. Third period passed. This happened in second period. So I'm going to fourth period PE. And, um, okay, so I see. And then my, one of my friends came up to me. And, uh, you know, she said that her dad is, um, is gonna press charges against you and I'm like how are you gonna even press charges for something that didn't happen for me supposedly pulling your hair so supposedly Vanessa's dad's pressing charges on me or whatever and at the moment I'm just like you know what I don't even care cuz she's like said stuff like that before like oh yeah um she she lies a lot, so I'm like, you know what, whatever, I, I'm not worried about it, whatever. And then all these people are coming up to me like, Kenzie, did you pull her hair? Kenzie, did you pull her hair? I'm like, shut up. I'm like, no, shut up. And, um, the, well, you know, she, her dad's gonna, um, press charges against you. I'm like, really, I really honestly don't care. Like, you could get your dad involved, blah, 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 because, mm, like, this school has issues, so I wasn't really even worried, I'm not even, I'm still not even worried about it, and so, um, they're all talking about how she's gonna press charges against me, and whatever, and she's still not making eye contact to me, and then, so then, fourth period passed, I go to fifth period, and it's a short, it was a short day, because it's Friday, and, um, so I go to fifth period, then lunch. Usually I would go first period, then lunch. But on short days, it's fifth period, then lunch. Because it's 30 minutes per class instead of an hour. And then, um, so basically, at lunch, um, at the end of lunch, this one girl comes up to me. She's all, no, no, okay, so when I, I skip some, I keep forgetting some parts. So, when I'm in fifth period, we were doing the practice state test because our state testing is next week. So, on Monday and Tuesday. So, uh, man, I do not want to do that. But anyway, so. So, when I was, um, when, when we were in fifth period, the alarm went off, like the fire drill alarm. It wasn't, but it, like, no one knew. Like, no one warned us that it was going to be a drill, so we don't know if it was real or not right now. Still don't know. I think something might have happened or whatever. But, so the alarm goes off. We're all lining up. And then 10 minutes pass, about 5, 10 minutes pass. And then I come back to class. And this one girl just runs up to me. And she's all cancer. I'm like, what? And then she's all, um... She was like, did you pull Isabel's hair? I'm like, this is what I said to her. I said, shut up. Like, it's none of your business. No, I didn't. But everyone needs to just shut up with that. And then, so then I walked into my class. Oh, my gosh. Why do I keep skipping stuff? So during the fire drill, 
like all everyone like most of the classes are already lined up we were like the last class lining up and so i passed this one girl and she's standing there with vanessa and i'm like and she she i just turned and she's like the girl was like i'm i'm running out of name so the girl was like um uh Kenzie, you need to stop being mean to Isabel. Don't mess with her. And she was like, I'm like, what are you going to do about it? Like, she's like this tall. She, she's like about like this high to me. I'm like, what are you going to do about it? And so then I just keep walking. And then we go back to class. And that's when the girl came up to me. And I told her to shut up and everything. And then that's pretty much it. So basically... Everyone's talking about how she's gonna get, how she's gonna get, um, how, how she's trying to press charges about me and whatever, and I'm like, you know what, whatever, so at the end of the day, everyone's being annoying, you know, blah, 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 I don't care, because I'm just looking forward to the weekend, and now, it's the weekend, so I'm like, you know what, well, it's Friday, but we're off to school for now. So I'm just like, you know what, this, it's all over, whatever, forget it. And, yeah, that's pretty much it with this story time, guys.